guys welcome to bion four lab this is mathingi and today i'm going to show you how to uh, measure the distance between the atoms of the ligand and the protein molecule and also i'm going to show you how to uh, regenerate the lick plot interactions in the pi mol so we all know that by uh, knowing the or by measuring the distances between the atoms of the ligand and the protein molecule we come to know that what kind of interactions are between the ligand and the protein molecule for example such as um hydrogen bond interactions or hydrophobic interactions etc so now i'm going to show you that so for that uh, we have to take uh, take the lick plot interactions of the protein uh, we have so just go to pdb sum so today i'm taking the protein uh, with the pdb code of 1m7q with the ligand in it so just go to just click the 1m7q and click the find so we will be getting all the information about this protein its reaction and all so here you can see the ligands list so dqo is the exact ligand one so as you go down we get the lick plot interactions uh, of the ligand and the uh, protein molecule so this is the lick plot interactions of the ligand and the protein molecule though the center molecule is the ligand molecule and the other amino acids uh, surrounding the molecule uh, with the green arc so i mean sorry with the red arc so these are the amino acids which are forming a hydrophobic interactions with the ligand and as you see here note this three amino acids that is histidine 107 methionine 109 and the glycine 110 so these three amino acids they are forming a hydrogen bond interactions with the ligand so that's why uh, they have um, shown uh, here they have shown us the distance between the uh, hydrogen bonding interacting hydrogen bond interacting uh, amino acids and the ligand with the distance measurement so as you see here the distances here are in between the range of 2.4 to 2. Uh, i mean up to 3 so uh, as we all know generally the hydrogen bond interaction the hydrogen bond length would be uh, from 1.5 angstrom to uh, 3 angstrom approximately so these uh, measurements are uh, fall under uh, fall between those ranges so that's how they have given here the distance measurement so that uh, we can from the distance measurement we can uh, conclude that these uh, three amino acids are having the hydrogen bond interactions with this uh, ligand molecule so i'm going to show you how in the pi mol so as I said, I have already um, opened the PDB format of my uh, protein molecule here, the 1M7Q. So just go below and click here the S. So it is uh, it gives us the sequence panel. So just um, select and uh, remove all the water molecules, the the OO all or the water molecules. So just uh, remove the all water molecules and as we know the SO4 is also not the exact ligand so remove that so as we know this DQO is the exact ligand actually so now we are going to see uh, how to generate and how to measure the distance between the atoms of this ligand and amino as atoms of the amino acid residues uh, which with this ligand is forming the hydrogen bond interaction so this is the ligand so just click the ligand and uh, okay so this is the ligand so just go to this 1m7q panel go to hide everything so now i'm just uh, uh, selecting this uh, ligand dqo i'm just giving it a stick representation and also i'm labeling the atom names of this ligand so as you see all the atoms in this um, of this uh, ligand molecule is labeled okay so this ligand molecule is having the carbon atoms nitrogen atoms chlorine atoms fluorine atoms oxygen atom okay so this is our ligand molecule so we have prepared our ligand molecule and now we are going to uh, see the distance measurement between the atoms of the ligand molecules and the hydrogen bond interacting uh, amino acids, uh, atoms of the amino acids. 
so first we will take the histidine 107 so oxygen of the histidine 107 forming a hydrogen bond with the nitrogen of the uh, ligand molecule so histidine 107 so i'm just uh, going to select the histidine 107 okay i'm selecting the histidine 107 in the panel also i'm giving its uh, stick representation in different color and i am labeling the residue name so as you see here this is my histidine 107 amino acid or else i will just label it as uh, give some different color by its element okay so i have given the different color with its element so as we see the oxygen atom of this uh, histidine 107 is forming the hydrogen bond interactions with the nitrogen so uh, first we have to um, wait and i will be selecting all the hydrogen bond interacting amino acids so now we will just select the glycine 110 and the methionine 109 so okay glycine 110 and methionine 109 i am selecting from the sequence panel and I also i am giving it the stick representation and also i am giving the color by its element and i am labeling the residues okay now i am going to show you the interaction so just orient so now you can see the three uh, amino acids the hydrogen bonding uh, amino acids and the ligand molecule now i'm going to show you how to measure the distance so just go to the wizard measurement so just click on the so as i said before the oxygen atom of the histidine forms the hydrogen bond with the nitrogen of the ligand so just click here in the first atom and then click here the second atom so as you see the distances are here uh, so the distance is 2.9 angstrom so it falls uh, between the range of the 1.5 to 3 angstroms approximately so it's forming the hydrogen bond interactions so next one is the uh, nitrogen atom of the methionine and the oxygen atom of the um, ligand so we will check it once so methionine okay nitrogen atom of the methionine with the oxygen atom of the ligand and the nitrogen atom of the glycine with the oxygen atom of the uh, ligand so just click here in the first atom and just click here on the second atom now we have uh, we got the uh, second measurement and now we are getting the third one so click here in the nitrogen of the glycine and click here in the second atom of the oxygen of the ligand so we will be getting the another um, measurement so now we uh, we got all the three measurements uh, hydrogen bond length measurements so as you see these three measurements that is 3 angstrom 2.5 angstrom and 2.9 angstrom so these measurements they fall between the range of 1.5 to 3 angstroms approximately so these are the hydrogen bonding inter, uh, hydrogen bond interacting amino acids okay they are forming the hydrogen bond interactions with the atoms of the ligand molecule so and we can also change the uh, dotted lines the color of the dotted line so i am giving the color as a red color So I have given all the colors in the red color. So once you have done with all the uh, interactions, all the measurement, just click done. If you have done anything wrong, I mean measuring the distance between any wrong atoms, just uh, uh, click the delete lost option. And or if you want to delete all the measurements, just uh, click the delete all measurements. So I am done with all the measurements. Uh, so I am clicking the done. So now we got to be selecting the uh, amino acids which are forming the hydrogen bond interactions with this uh, ligand. So for that we are going to um, have amino acid 
um, around uh, five angstrong uh, around the ligand so i will show you how so just click the ligand and go to the action panel and go to the modify go to around and then the residues within five angstrong so once i i am clicking this option i will be getting the residues within five angstrong around this whole uh, ligand molecule so which are forming the hydrogen bonding hydrophobic interactions okay hydrophobic interactions with the ligand so i am clicking the uh, residues within five angstrong and i am giving all those uh, residues the stick uh, confirmation sorry the stick representation and i am changing the color to the blue So as you see, so now we have actually generated our lick plot interactions in the pi mole itself with easy steps. So, okay, we have got all the hydrophobic interacting, hydrophobic uh, forming, uh, hydrophobic interaction forming amino acids around the ligand, and also we have got our um, hydrogen bond uh, forming amino acids uh, with the bond length measurement uh, in the range of 1.5 to 3 angstroms approximately so we are done with uh, reproducing the lick plot interactions in the pi mole and also we have learned the distance measurement and also we have learned uh, the selecting the residues uh, within the phi angstroms so this is how uh, you can um, reproduce the lick plot interactions in the pi mode. So that's all for the today's video guys. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.